Masala, but I don't have any. So we're gonna go to plan B for a little spice. I'm gonna put some pepper jelly. Pepper jelly, good, good stuff. Homemade, not me. Somebody made it at home. It's if you I like to glide, I always liked it. Um, skis or windsurfing or just you know things you don't you don't think about it just happens it's it scores you it's called from somewhere you have to do it and that's how I actually stopped my studies in Paris um, that I was it was going to intro design which was based on drawing and I stopped that to go skiing because I had to do it there was no other way I just couldn't do otherwise and I remember telling myself, if you want to you know, go into skiing, you've got to do it now. You're not going to do it when you're 50 years old. So, drawing, painting, you maybe can do that a little later. So I think that shaped my life into skiing first. But ne never lost contact with uh, crayons. This is a Thierry Lamar production with director Joey Lamar and actors Lucy, Sophie and Mabel. Here's a producer, here's a director and here are the actors Lucy, Lucy. My fuck, I, I'm too scared to say happy uh, birthday, it's too scary. I'm not saying it. And then Sophie Lamar as... I don't give a shit. I'm not saying happy birthday, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> And then Maple Lamar with his Hey hey I'm I'm too busy here. Too busy to say happy birthday. I'm digging. Alright? When when you feel in love I think you you um you, you push you push the limit, you do the unreasonable, you you, you wanna you wanna stay with those uh, emotions and uh, you don't think, you do you don't think you, you think with your heart and, and you do things that you have to do. You leave you leave your country, you go to another country and and find a way to live in that other country, and, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, an easy road every day, but uh, that's what you do. Emotion, emotions for me, what makes Spanish is that little, you know, I don't know, it's imperceptible um, in French. I don't know. It's, it's something that triggers you, suddenly you want pain, you want to feel the chill, chill behind the on bottom of your back, and, and just you react to the subject and you want to paint it. Is uh, uh, a lady from Long Island. I met Ophelia in 1997, uh, but I really started to paint her more extensively uh, in the mid in the mid uh, 2005, six, seven, and I devoted uh, two shows to her, which is two years preparation for each show. So I pretty much painted not exclusively because I had to do other things. But really, she was my main subject for, for four years. Am I filming? I don't know. 
I'm not too familiar with this thing. You're fired. I'm fired. What's your name? Ophelia. How old are you? 900. <laughs> Uh, as she was feeling more relaxed with me, she was telling me stories, she loves to tell stories and all the stories, even the way she dressed and everything, all, all of those emotions on the, on the moment uh, trigger, triggered uh, ideas of paintings. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. What a joy. What a privilege. <laughs> No. Don't worry. I'm not taking your husband. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not she's taking mine. Yeah. I'm not taking mine. 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 i am not you understand what I stand? I sure do. <laughs> She's close. Well, I was, you know, I was kind of uh, sudden pride that she accepted me so well because I'm, you know, not from the same same origins and uh, and uh, yeah, sudden pride and. To me, she was always the same. Never, never sick, really. Didn't wear glasses. Uh, never heard of her going to the doctor. Maybe once I, I saw her with a little flu, and but basically, I don't know. She looks like she was eternal, going through time, like nobody <laughs> would go through time. She was so flexible until uh, until the end. At 90, I think it was 92, 92, 93 when she passed away. First of all, I couldn't believe it. It was like, okay, I mean, Ophelia was always there, and somehow um, I think she was going to be there all the time. Um, but uh, at the end, she was, uh, her mind was fading, and I was actually dealing with the same thing with my mother, so it was very emotional. Um, I had my white mother and my black mother <laughs> uh, going through the same journey at the same time. I think I had to move on. Um, I'm, I'm still doing things because I still have paintings, ideas in my mind that I wanted to achieve. And uh, she's not there anymore, but I will achieve those pieces. But I'm, I'm trying to move fo forward and, and find other uh, interest, subject interest. But uh, it, I think it takes time a little bit because um, uh, she was such a part of my um, work for six, seven, eight, ten years uh, that it's, it's, it takes time to, uh, to turn the page completely. I'm searching always for subjects. I mean, not only people, but I like to paint people. So, um, but yes, because that uh, relationship with Ophelia was so strong and long, that it's going to be probably hard to find uh, another subject that I would um, paint so much and for so long. But you never know. Still always searching. That's a lifelong journey. Searching for subjects.